everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is Emma and Georgia and today we are watching Grand Army Season 1 Episode 5 if you want to watch the uncut reactions, link to the Patreon is down below. Last episode, we saw how Joey is dealing in the aftermath of her rape. She wasn't coping very well. She hasn't told anyone, or hadn't told anyone, and she was still acting normal with the guys that did it. They were acting normal with her. They were invading her personal space and touching her all the time, which was very frustrating. And she was lashing out at people like Dom, who really didn't deserve it. Yeah. And in order to calm herself down, she asked one of the guys to get her some pills. So she's resorting to drugs now to cope with it, which really is not good for her. And her hair's falling out because she's so stressed. And then at the end, she eventually broke down and she told her mum about it. So hopefully we're going to get the police involved. I know, I'm really hoping that we can resolve this for her and find, you know, some justice, if you will. Yeah. And it's it makes me so sick when I watch it. Because they're all her friends, all pretending like nothing happened. And I think there was one scene where they were in the boys bathroom and they were bragging about it and he's supplying her drugs like oh it's just a recipe for absolute disaster and I'm it's like just, oh. it's like they don't think they did anything wrong i know that's what really annoys me because they're just smiling laughing just you know touching her all the time just like dragging her around and yeah. take absolutely no responsibility to think about what happens to those boys that stole Dom's purse and the penalty they faced. I really want these boys that did the what happened to Joey to get really like punished. to get punished for this. <laughs> it's awful what they did. I am and... worried though because this show is like you know, folk is quite realistic, so I'm worried they might do it where, like, they don't get convicted or something. Because oh, not all cases yeah. win and stuff. I know. Because of the videos that they took of her where she was enjoying stuff, like, it might paint her in a bad light. So I am scared for that, but we'll see that when it comes. As you need Oh no, is this her way of saying get rid of someone rich? <laughs> oh. oh no. Dom has a lot riding on her shoulders at the moment. Excuse me, is that anyone's bag? It's just sitting there. Oh. Does anyone know whose bag this is? What the fuck? Why though? <laughs> Are they a bit aggressive? No one was claiming it, so, you know, it's not okay for bags to be left unattended like that. I just, after what happened... Oh yeah! So after, blow up the station Yeah, then. so blow up the station in it! Kick it <laughs> as well! Yeah, kick it and it could detonate! She feels like a bad bitch after that! <laughs> <laughs> not all heroes wear capes! She taking on pictures... Who's that? Oh my god, was that Joey? I didn't even notice. Is it? Oh, and she's probably on her way to the police or something. Whatever you want to be done, okay? You're in charge here. Mom and I just... I want to do this. I think that, yeah, they're just trying to do what's best for her. Can I do anything to make you more comfortable? They might not find DNA evidence now, because it's been quite a while. Joey, nothing will happen without your consent, okay? Yeah, she kept the underwear though. Oh yeah, she didn't wash it. Oh. Why is, oh, is he actually messaging her? Where'd you take a video of Joey today? Uh, 72nd, the 23 star. Okay. I don't ever post shit about my friends again, alright? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to. So what the fuck is wrong with her? So now you're being quite considerate, Tim. You know, you weren't really bothering with her the last few days. God. Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, I know. It's it's gonna be great. Wait, you, you say what part? Oh, cool. lol. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. It's an opportunity and you're not seeing the good side. Do you have any for us? What are your names? Omar Biller and Layla Zimmer. <laughs> That's really awkward. Thanks. Aww. I know who it's from. 
Is it from him? Is it? Oh my god! <gasps> he has a crush on her, look at him! <laughs> she thinks it's from George! Oh god, it's not from George, it's from him! Look at oh, his face! He just took two L's! Are you <laughs> fucking kidding me? Oh, I hate this! Yeah. Oh, I hate this, that guy was so nice! What are you oh. doing? Even if he did send it, a lollipop doesn't make up for everything else. Wait, 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 are you sure? We're asking for consent now. So please quickly find hey, a seat next to who you want to work with. Is Mira okay? Uh, uh yeah. Why? Ben and Rashid. Orlov? And the nude? And you two please, Victor. His sister got right nude leak. Nude sleep. What? For this unit? But yay, they're partners. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you knew. No, what the heck are we talking about? Okay. Oh. Oh, God, no. I'm... Imagine your family seeing that. Maybe it's not your business, bro. Oh. The reactions of the organism is the response. And that's what you'll be spending some time out of class testing with your partner. I don't think she planned for this. God, her hair just comes out. I thought okay, she was Joey? ripping a bit of, like, Scott. fabric off her thing. But no, it's her hair. No, I'm okay. I'm going to take some pictures, like I'd oh explained. Oh god! Is that okay? This, oh yeah, this is all going to be used against against okay. them. Okay, so and you tell me of if you want or need me to stop at any time. But it's very invasive. It's so uncomfortable. Boys, <gasps> please. Yeah, this why? is it. Just leave your things. The officers would like to speak with you. Is this it? Hell yes. Let's make this easy. Ugh, that's the least of your worries. This should, this should be happening, and I'm glad it We're is. We're swabs of the inside of your vagina now. You doing okay? Oh, mm -hmm. She's so brave doing this. Bit more. I can't, I'm no, sorry. That's okay, that's okay. Don't be sorry. Okay. Breathe. I'm going to remove the speculum now. There's going to be a bit of pressure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh god, this sounds so awful. I know. Just the word speculum is making me think it's something large. I don't like it. Just think, it's always going to be worth doing. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> She's got a chunk ripped rip out of her side and like... <laughs> That's what you're looking at! <laughs> what did your boyfriend do? so deserved and if he has his pill stash on him like george said he could probably get another charge added on him to tell them what they did Tim. what they're taking sure to do i be fine i think the officers just have some questions the yeah see what they did to joey you're one of your good friends apparently mm. whose idea was it to go inside miss pierre's bag nobody's did you see mr williams touch and enter miss pierre's bag did you watch Mr. Williams take her wallet from her oh, bag? Oh god, Was you don't want to do this saw? to your friends. I just want to make sure you have the folder that I brought. I've collected over 200 signatures. You were for... there at the time of the theft, were you not? I don't care. Yeah, but it wasn't theft though. I mean, what I mean is that he didn't actually we're take set, them. We're set, Mr. Jackson, thank you. As I said earlier, this hearing is solely about the facts of the incident. She doesn't sound Based like she's very lenient. And she she sounds appropriate quite scared to move forward with the superintendent's suspension. Given the seriousness of the violation, we're issuing a 60-day suspension beginning today. 60 days. Oh, and we'll provide you with your suspension site information before you go. At least it's not expulsion, though. Yeah, that it could it's have still got too a hard. lot worse. That's, I know. Oh my god, she's actually messaged her that. I'm gonna hang on to your phone for now, okay? So she knows the reason, and she's blaming her. <laughs> Everybody's gonna hate me. Well, they should be hating them. I don't believe that. I know. And your dad and I love you endlessly. I'm already getting texts. Fucking them over. And even though they did what they did, and they did, I'm still fucking them. Do you think that? Or are you concerned other people think that? Both. Thing is, is other people will blame her, so you've got to try and think of, like, ways to protect yourself, because... You're always going to end up getting blamed by someone in that situation. They're my friends. And I love them. That's a sad truth, isn't it? Or I loved them. Part of me feels like I'm betraying them. But then I also don't regret what I'm doing. They betrayed you. Just... No. She sent it to me, bro. I didn't even ask. She just sent it. I, 
I shared it with like two other guys. You don't do that. Why did you Don't do that. Can you work your ass off the next week and a half? For real? Yeah. I think it's the least you could do for him. I can't believe he's acting so calm You're about all this. You did it, kid. Hell yeah. I mean, you don't deserve it, but you know. And why do good things happen to the worst people? So what, our friends are fucking rapists now? Is that what you're saying? You don't get arrested for nothing. Uh, it happens all the time. I've experienced it. Me too. Okay, you don't need to talk, Rachel, okay? Oh god, she's not And weird shit is not assault. I gave him a blowjob today. In the drama department, and I swallowed, which is gross, but I didn't know what else to do, and- I don't really know what you want me to say. He didn't actually rape her, right? She's a fucking slut and you're defending her. I'm not oh. her, you basically are. It's like, I don't even know you sometimes anymore. Last year, if some girl had been like, I was raped, you would have believed her. You want to be in feminist theater and you're acting you're like- You're the one acting weird. No, she's normal. She's being a normal <laughs> human being. We're not she's normal just, anymore. We don't say it how it is. I don't know. Layla, like you've become a bitch. <laughs> yes, quite frankly, you have become a bitch. We need a promo slogan for an event coming up. We're raising a bunch of money for a busload of us to go do voter registration in Philly. Aww. How about Grand Army's coming to enlist you? Yeah, that's got really good ideas. <laughs> I just found out my best friend, Owen Williams, got it even worse. He got 60 days. What? 60 days. Oh, that's I'm sorry, man. I'm happy that everyone cares about him though. They all seem genuinely like sad for him. You don't find that in school yeah. quite a lot. Like for someone to be so influential in people's school life, you know, it's it's nice to see. He got her a gift. <laughs> oh. It's gone even better. A mug. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Dot. <Dr. laughs> no way. <laughs> oh, she walked past it, didn't she? Yeah. Oh, Aww. they don't have any money, and she's spending it on cookies. <laughs> don't tell your family that. <laughs> Why the fuck can't these guys get a fucking nude? Do what they need to do with it, and like keep it to themselves. I know guys can't keep it to themselves. They have to have some shit happen to them. So don't know why. I mean, like, if you feel the need to tell your friend you got a nude, you can tell them, but don't show them. Oh no, they're not gonna get- Oh god, they are! Don't do this! Look, he's not gonna be faithful! He just wrote a whole personal statement about coming out! The thing is, is he had problems with this before. I feel like he's not gonna be able to. Hopefully not! <laughs> Don't worry, Georgia, I think they're just fine. <laughs> <laughs> For your concern! My OTP! <laughs> Oh, how do you explain that? I know, it's so hard. You don't want to put, you know, that in there. It that they hurt my body in certain ways. You're going to be okay. Oh, she's so sweet. I think so. At least she has them if her friends yeah. are bad in her. She can have these moments. I knew her friend would be a bitch about it. She's oh. deleting her Instagram. You know, it's probably for the best. Might be the best thing for now, yeah. That's what this show is. Hell! <laughs> all these horrible <sighs> situations that they're all in. I know, and it feels never ending for them. Like, it's just one thing after another. I feel like Joe... Joey is doing the right thing. I think she should definitely have gone to the police, whether her dad thinks she should have or not. Like, I think going there was the right thing to do. And obviously she's had to go through all those tough things and there's gonna be so much more to come with like police hearings and stuff like that. But I think with a good support unit, she'll get through it. Yeah, I agree. I think 
talking to the police about it it's the only sort of closure you're gonna get on it mm. and she's been you know suffering in silence and it's only gonna make her get worse and worse so I think trying to do something about it will bring you some sense of closure I don't know but I just hope that those boys get punishment and I really hope this just doesn't get like this case doesn't get brushed off or whatever I, th yeah. I just hope that something good comes of this me too I think she might just be better off without her friends because it doesn't seem like the two girls in her friendship group I, it, they, it looks like they don't believe her so I know Tim. Tim's sister she's quite she's very hot and cold like I remember a scene with her with Joey and she was she was being really good to her and you know joking around and then as soon as this happens she just turns on her mm. like are you serious you're crazy psychotic I just like I know it's your brother but you don't talk to your friend like that yeah at least she's... hear her out see what happens she's not even asked you if she's don't... okay or anything she just instantly I doesn't know. believe her toxic and that's not a friend you want and i've gone right off layla oh she's another one that's yeah. just you don't know where you stand with her i mean like i feel bad for her when she gets bullied by george and joey and like i can yeah. see why she hates her but and she but she should hate george too him her thinking that he got her a candy thing doesn't make up for everything that he's done in the past and then i'm still so gutted for the guy that got her the lolly poor omar he asked if he had any and he didn't and then he gave her one and she thought it was someone else Bless <gasps> double him. blow i hope oh. he gets with her friend she is a nice friend though yeah she is like, nice she said she said like i don't know who you are anymore like you're not the friend i know yeah. you know and it's not about who she likes and who she's involved with it's just her attitude to things now she's so really different become quite horrible i don't like it from her i know it doesn't suit her she was just such a nice person before mm. but this group has changed her and george has been a really bad influence i can see why she hates joey though because joey is horrible to her but like what she was saying, just calling her a slut and saying how can you feel sorry for her and stuff like that, doesn't it doesn't mean you should get raped just because you're no. promiscuous and sleep with more people. If she said no, she said no. Like that doesn't mean yeah. people have a right to use her body however they want. So I, she's just yeah. it's right out of my good foots. Don't like her anymore. I know <laughs> she yeah she's she's changed a lot. I don't know if there's much of hope for her character. I'm just hoping yeah. that she wakes up again and tries to correct her wrongs. Yeah, and Dawn's come up with a way to make her family money by doing hair, and she yeah. said like four or five times a week and making three hundred and fifty dollars. Like bloody hell! That, How much that... is she charging? I mean, you know, it's a good. It's a good way of earning some extra cash, and mm. I th her family and her need it yeah. at most right now. So I think finding little ways to contribute is great, and just get a bit of stress off of everyone's backs. Mm. You Hopefully, know. it keeps them afloat. Owen got 60 days suspended from school, which is so harsh. <sighs> He's been he's been off of school for so long now. Even not even that sixty days, but before that, yeah. Like this is take this has been such a long process of just not knowing what's going to happen to you, and it must feel awful. And his friendship, it's in tatters at the moment because mm. the parents have divided it and this whole situation and having to say what he did in court. I can't really remember the exact situation because obviously it was episode one that was a long time ago but yeah. I feel like he took the purse out of her bag and then he dropped it down the stairwell I think and because they were in the bomb like exit thing they couldn't go back down to get it so she lost the money that was in her purse so literally all he did was take her purse out of her bag and drop it and then he made the money back to give to her I don't know why a 60 day suspension is I know. given for that I, I think it's the fact that he 
took out of her bag in the first place, put his hands on her property. Yeah, but... I think it's taken quite seriously, these... but I, I know it's not... These rapists are probably going to get three days suspension and then they'll be back. I know, that that's the sick part of all of this. That's it for today guys, thank you for watching our reaction to episode 5 of Grand Army. If you want to watch the episode in its entirety then the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below. Don't feel any pressure, it's just for people that want to watch the episodes along with us. Leave a like if you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for episode 6. <laughs> Bye! Bye!